All right, guys, let's take a look this time at the adapter pattern. In this example, we'll be using extensively the JavaScript fetch uh, method, which is suitable for creating an asynchronous requests. So we'll be using the original fetch operator and we'll wrap it in another function, which we'll call fetch data, uh, so that uh, this uh, fetch operator becomes uh, more useful for us. Uh, and then Basically, our application will uh, get uh, this URL from JSON placeholder type called col and uh, return the data. And uh, while returning the data, we'll use the template data function where uh, we'll be formatting the data in a proper way. And afterwards, uh, it will be displayed in our document object model. Here we have one uh, simple form and one result diff. And also we are calling our uh, form.js script. We can see it now in action. And as we can see, we can type, let's say five records, and this will uh, fetch five records uh, from the uh, specified URL. If we go to the network tab, and let's say again, uh, click on the send button, uh, we see that uh, we are initiating a get request and we are passing this five here as a parameter we have uh, this JSON response and that we are formatting and uh, displaying on the screen on the output element. Let's talk a little bit now about the code. All right, so initially we are waiting for the document object uh, model elements to be loaded and then uh, we are selecting our form while binding to the submit uh, event, uh, an event listener. Uh, this means that whenever someone clicks on the submit button here, we'll be capturing this event and we'll be stopping the automatic submission. And uh, then we'll perform a fetch request with get parameter to the URL and we'll be passing the following uh, parameters. Basically, we are grabbing from the form the value of the records field, actually uh, the value of this input field here. Afterwards, uh, We'll check if we have uh, data because uh, fetch is returning a promise to us. And when we have received data, uh, we would like to fill in our resulting diff uh, with the templated data. And uh, if there are errors, we are logging them on the console. If we take a look at the template data function, actually it accepts data and formats the items. So for each item, so we're using the map operator and we are displaying only the names of the items via string uh, template literals and they are also wrapped with a Y uh, tag and then since this will produce one uh, big array uh, we are flattening the array by joining all the information uh, in a one big uh, string with uh, new lines so that's uh, basically the formatting function and now uh, to the core of the adapter pattern our convenient function fetch data uses the following parameters URL, data, method, and headers. And by default, uh, most of them are empty parameters. So we are checking whether we are receiving something from the data, uh, so from this object here. Then, based on what we are receiving, we are constructing a proper fetch requests. Constructing this uh, request is a little bit tricky because if we have a uh, get request, so if the user provides a method of get, we have to construct the parameters and pass them to the URL. And if we are using the post request, uh, we need to pass the data as a JSON object. Then basically we are executing the fetch uh, native browser supported function and we are returning a JSON uh, format from the result. Two more interesting things here. If we have uh, headers passed in, so if this object is not empty, we are providing them additionally via the spread operator. So we are creating one new object uh, and this way we are adding uh, the new information to the old one. And also if we are using a method of post, then we are supplying to this uh, object here a body containing our data. We are using a conditional check here. Basically, if uh, the check returns true, then this object will be spread and will be added to the main object. If not, then the object will stay with only method and headers properties. And uh, that's the most important thing to remember. 
is that we are just facilitating the invocation of the fetch function via the adapter uh, called fetch data. To demonstrate the benefits of using adapter pattern, let's say that we would like to use uh, the same URL, but uh, we would like to pass different parameters. Let's say that we would like to post posts and the following information. So we are adding a title with body and a user ID, and then we will change the method to post. So in this case, we change just uh, the input parameters uh, to our adapter function. And when we save and rerun the function in the browser, when I click on send, okay, so when we go to the network tab, we see that the post request has been initialized. For the request, we see that we've passed uh, this object, which was our object here. And then uh, for the response, uh, we have uh, the newly created object uh, uh, returned. We can see this information uh, from the newly created ID of 101. This means that uh, our request uh, has been performed successfully. All right, guys, so I hope you like the information. And if you have enjoyed the tutorial, you can subscribe to the channel.